Hi, it's Maggie the Irish Gypsy here to bring you your February 2019 general readings. Thanks for joining us here today. Welcome to any newcomers. I hope everyone is enjoying a very nice beginning to this beautiful new year. Thank you for those of you who continue to follow my YouTube channel and for sending in all your support and feedback and comments. Thanks to all of my regular clients and new clients as well for continuing to keep me so busy with reaching out for those personal one-on-one -on -one readings especially over the holiday seasons. Always an honor and a pleasure, thank you. As most of you who follow me know, if you are interested in a personal one-on-one -on -one reading with me, live or recorded, you can get more info on my contact details by clicking on the description bar of any of the videos I post, or you can go to my YouTube channel's homepage, click on the little about button there. Please feel free to email me directly at maggie the number one mcguire at gmail.com. I'd be delighted to work with you. Uh, turnaround time for readings is pretty good. I do re uh, readings full time, five to six days a week. It is what I do. So I work pretty diligently with people's schedules uh, to get them readings as quickly as possible. And I can usually get back to you within the same day or the first 24 hours of your initial contact with more info. Uh, so send me an email if you're interested and we will go from there. You can also find me on the smartphone app Instant Go under Irish Gypsy. That link is also provided. And that's good for quick answers to uh, the quick, easy questions. I do a wide variety of readings of all different types and lengths in all areas of life. So uh, send me an email if you're interested and we'll set something up for you. All right, let's move right into this reading. This reading is for the water sign of Pisces for the month of February 2019. So let's see what's in store for our Pisceans for February. Uh, make sure to watch your rising and moon sign uh, videos too if you know them. General readings can always resonate a little differently for everybody watching them. And watching your other signs can, uh, if you know them, can uh, provide additional clarification. Okay, Pisces. All right, for the first week of February, timing always being fluid, we have the Hermit followed by the Eight of Wands. Around the second week, we have the High Priestess followed by the Empress. Around the third week or so, we have the Four of Cups followed by the King of Wands. And at or towards the end of February, we have Strength, followed by the Eight of Cups. And from the bottom of the deck, your crowning card representing overall focus and energy for the month of February, we have the Ace of Cups. So you have four major Arcana cards, uh, Pisces. So potentially a pretty significant month for you. I feel like probably the first half of this is going to be spent more in contemplation. Some of you may be actually isolating a bit more or getting away a bit more in order to consider something. Uh, perhaps consider leaving or walking away from something for the opportunity or potential or possibility of something new, something very emotionally positive and uplifting because your overall energy, your overall focus uh, for the month of February is the Ace of Cups. Cups is water energy and in the tarot this is usually the energy of the heart, emotions, feelings, relationships, etc. Aces represent the number one so they always represent a new beginning, uh, a new path, the start of something new, or the opportunity to start something new. Sometimes the Ace of Cups can represent new love and romance. Some of you may uh, be starting or have the opportunity to start a new love and romance relationship with someone. This could be the opportunity to begin something new, to start down a new path, uh, which is very emotionally positive and uplifting, something which has you feeling uh, very hopeful and very excited um, and very emotional uh, about the future. Uh, I feel like for some of you, a small portion of you, you're considering starting a new spiritual or holistic path of some kind as well. Sometimes the Ace of Cups can also represent an emotional renewal within an already existing uh, relationship as well. It can sometimes represent uh, reconciliations or renewals uh, within relationship, whether that's a love and romance relationship or a friendship as well. 
Uh, you have a lot of quiet contemplative cards in the first couple of weeks. You have the Hermit and the High Priestess right next to each other as well. Uh, in fact, the first week you have the Hermit clarified by the Eight of Wands. So the Hermit is a card uh, that can speak of being alone for a time, perhaps withdrawing, uh, can represent some isolative energy, not necessarily a negative thing at all. What do Hermits do? Hermits, monks, monastics. They retreat from the distractions of conventional day-to-day -day life. Why do they do this? They do this in order to seek wisdom, insight, guidance on something. Um, the hermit is usually portrayed as an aged person because we usually see people who are uh, of a certain age as being wiser because they have more life experience. The hermit can also represent using the sum total of your life experience and wisdom so far to help you find a way through something or make a decision on something. You can see that this man is holding up the light of this lantern and this light is what's helping guide his way across this narrow precipice. And this light, as with everything on a tarot card, is symbolic for uh, everything that he has gleaned in all his years of life, wisdom, experience, insight, etc. So I feel like a lot of you, whatever this potential represents for some of you, whether it's new love and romance, whether it's uh, an emotional renewal within an already existing relationship, some of you, you are thinking of stepping off a current religious or spiritual path and exploring another one. Uh, regardless of how the details vary, and they will because this is a general reading, there's an opportunity in front of you uh, to start down a new path, which is emotionally uplifting. The Ace of Cups is about uh, the heart opening up again. It's about the possibility and potential of a cycle which leads to fulfillment. I'm struck uh, with the Ace of Cups for you, Pisces, for this month, in that whatever this, this new beginning or this new opportunity for a new beginning is, it holds a great deal of potential for you. So in the beginning, you may be taking, maybe around the end of January, beginning of February, you may be taking some time off. You might not be as social as you're used to being. You might be, you know, withdrawing a bit. Some of you may be even taking some time off or going away somewhere, maybe going on retreat to kind of think about uh, this new beginning as well, or this opportunity for a new beginning. Uh, the Hermit is clarified by the Eight of Wands, which is the card uh, it, it can be a card that can represent movement and travel. It's a card that represents communication messages coming in too. Sometimes it can represent waiting for messages which are on its way. I feel like for a lot of you, you have already had some communication conversation and messages regarding whatever this Ace of Cups represents for you. And one of the things that you're doing or the primary thing that you're doing um, with this contemplative consideration considering energy is thinking about what might be the best thing for you to do because regardless of what this ace of cups represents it's going to represent leaving the path that you're on or that you have been on and ending something in order to start something new whether it's a new love path whether it's a reconciliation whether it's a new spiritual path or even for some of you whether it's a new job or career path as well i feel like there's already been communication and messages about it and you're going to be considering those some of you may be traveling by yourself um taking some time off maybe just getting uh you know putting yourself in a new environment. Some of you may be making the decision to maybe do a little traveling by yourself or taking a trip by yourself uh, in order to think about this. Sometimes a change of scenery can be quite helpful in that. Now around the second week or so, that energy more or less continues with the High Priestess and the Empress. It's quite interesting because the High Priestess uh, is right next to the Hermit. Very similar energy here. Uh, a very, very spiritual individual, very spiritual card. The High Priestess has a quiet energy as well. She doesn't speak a lot, the High Priestess, because she pays attention 
uh, she sees a lot if not everything but she doesn't usually when she says something it's something worth listening to the high priestess is about following your intuition some people call it their higher self some people call it intuition some people call it their gut instinct intuition is our conduit to spirit it's the cable or conduit if you will through which we get messages compulsions insight uh, when the high priestess comes up it's usually uh, advice on paying attention to any repeating dreams you have or any uh, repeating ideas or thoughts or flashes of insight which seem to come out of nowhere it's usually spirit trying to give us messages and trying to help give us advice and guidance and feedback as well it's about following ultimately your intuition uh, which in this day and age is not always uh, the easiest thing to do we live in a very uh, tangible temporal everything's exchangeable kind of world and sometimes following your intuition particularly if it if it goes against uh, you know uh, practical realities of external situations or other people's opinions it can be quite difficult to do uh, but it's about paying attention to your instincts and your intuition and it's right next to the hermit you have a lot of very quiet isolative contemplative trying to figure it out energy for the first couple of weeks and again some of you I feel maybe getting away or taking a trip or or uh, just withdrawing a bit to kind of go through this now what clarifies the high priestess is the empress which is a card also of new beginnings it's a card that represents fertility uh, uh, for some of you it may represent actual fertility maybe what you may be considering doing is uh, getting pregnant is starting a family or adding to a family uh, or perhaps some of you may have recently found out that you are pregnant and you're trying to figure out what to do about that uh, what is fertility fundamentally means fertility means that the time is right to plant seeds to begin to grow uh, and nurture something to its full potential it's about the beginnings it's about the time being right for new starts typically when the Empress comes up it's a green light for starting new relationships new projects anything new really it's also about uh, self-nurturing the Empress uh, usually she's the traditional earth mother of the tarot and she balances beautifully balances um, the unseen spiritual aspects of life which is also what the high priestess does along with the sensual tangible earthly uh, energies as well so the emperors can also represent you know maybe taking some time uh, while you're uh, off considering or spending more time by yourself or, or getting away for a bit you may want to indulge in some things that make you feel good that make you feel relaxed and connected and energized you know maybe hot bath massage you know walking in the sand whatever it is that does it for you but again one of the things that you're being asked to consider here is uh, it looks like your intuition spirit is trying to tell you that now is a good time for this new beginning for to begin to plant the seeds to begin to grow and nurture something I feel particularly around the second week your intuition is probably going to be quite high and you're being advised to listen to that and for those of you who aren't planning on taking some time off or withdrawing a bit or getting away it I mean it's it's a very clear message here from spirit that you need to take some time Time to do that uh, particularly over the first half and the second week and especially of February now around the third week or so we have the four of cups and the king of wands so the four of cups is a card often about being dissatisfied with what you have I sometimes call it the boredom and gratitude card sometimes it can represent that what you have as this young man has uh, these three beautiful cups next to him another one being offered to him uh, it can represent that you have a pretty good life you have pretty good opportunities things being offered to you but for some reason you're not satisfied with them or the shine has gone off of them you might feel discontent and restless but not really enough to get up and actually do something about it it can represent that you are being given an opportunity or an offer of some kind and you're not interested in it or you're not sure if you want to take it or not it's a card basically about being dissatisfied and feeling kind of restless but not really to the point where you're willing to get up and do anything about it just quite yet even though what might be on offer in front of you might look quite good I 
I feel like some of you, if this is in a the relationship area of your life, it looks like some of you may be in a relationship that on paper looks pretty good. It has all the trappings of something good. Uh, but for some reason, you may just feel discontent and dissatisfied, the same as if it's a current spiritual path or a current uh, job or career path as well. Now, what clarifies the Four of Cups is the King of Wands, which can represent another individual, uh, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising, because Wands is fire energy, showing up as a king, but could be a female as well. Some of you, this issue may have to do with, particularly if it's in the, the relationship area of your life, it could have to do with someone who is manifesting as the King of Wands, very energetic, very dynamic, very much a go-getter, uh, someone who's pr probably quite charismatic uh, as well. <clears throat> Some of you may be in a relationship or partnership or working with or for this King of Wands individual. And again, it might have, it might look pretty good or it might be a pretty good situation, but for some reason there's a sense of dissatisfaction about it. For others of you, you're feeling this Four of Cups energy. You're dissatisfied or discontent somehow with what you currently have. And this King of Wands represents, it's basically for your energy. The King of Wands represents this compulsion, this desire that keeps pressing at you. The King of Wands on an energetic level, you know, this is somebody who would not rest on his laurels for very long. The King of Wands, you would never find uh, doing this for very long because the King of Wands is very good at knowing what he or she wants, uh, going for it, uh, doing whatever he has to do to make the goals that he set uh, be manifested and come into reality. He's not one to be discontent and not figure out how to fix that and then uh, proceed about fixing it. It's about going for what you want, being very assertive and dynamic about that. I feel like a lot of you, you're discontent, maybe disillusioned with what you have. And it feels like at least up to now, you haven't been willing to do anything about it, but there's this sense of something pressing at you, pressing at you to take this new opportunity that's in front of you, which looks so emotionally uplifting or, or has the opportunity of your heart opening up again. Some of you in terms of reconciliation, uh, It could be that you're not sure whether or not to reconcile or to mend things or come to a resolvement with this King of Wands individual, but yet nonetheless, something is pressing at you. And remember in the preceding week, that second, of, that second week with the High Priestess and the Empress, you're really being asked to remember, uh, particularly when emotions may cloud that, you're being asked to remember to pay attention to what your gut instinct, your intuition is telling you. Now at or towards the end of February 2019, we have strength along with the Eight of Cups. Strength is about self-mastery and self-control, uh, facing your fears, your doubts, your insecurities, any negative behavior or thought patterns. Uh, facing those, wrestling with them, going through them, which is uh, which it takes a great deal of strength and, and wisdom and humility and insight to do. And it's also what you gain more of when you come on the other side of it. You're able to hold your head up high and move forward in motion, having tamed this wild beast, this lion, which is symbolic for your fears, your doubts, your insecurities, which you have wrestled with, come to an understanding and acceptance of what you cannot change and moving forward into your future as well. It's, it's about not allowing your fears, your doubts, your insecurities, or any negative thought patterns or behaviors to make the decision for you, regardless of what the decision is. Let it not be made by your fears and doubts and insecurities. Now, what clarifies strength, Pisces, is the Eight of Cups, which is the card of leaving behind which you ultimately find disappointing, disillusioning, which has run its course, which uh, may have some good and bad points, but in the end, it doesn't lead to your joy and fulfillment. So it's about turning your back on that and making up your mind decisively to move away from that. And, it, and you're gonna have to face some fears and doubts and insecurities that you have in order to do that. Just make sure whatever decision you make here, because I'm not, really getting, I think for some of you, um, taking this new opportunity might be a good thing for you. Others, maybe not. I'm not getting a clear yes or no either way, which probably means that it's split evenly for those of you that are watching. But I do feel compelled to tell you not to allow your fears and doubts and insecurities be what makes the decision for you. 
um, if a situation is worth fixing or salvaging, then do what you need to do to do that. If it isn't, but it still has some stability and security, then face your fears and doubts about that and move forward into a different future. So I'm going to pull an additional advice card for you, Pisces, to see what further advice spirit might have for you. The Two of Wands is your, your overall advice from Spirit. The Two of Wands is about thinking long term. This man is at a crossroads. He needs to make a decision, which it looks like most of you are at. And the key to making the right decision is not in looking at what's going on right now, because that can often be clouded with emotions, the emotions of what's going on right now. The key to choosing the right path is in looking down the road long term, whether this is in the relationship area of your life, whether it's in the spirituality area of your life, whether it's in the job work career area of your life. What's your ultimate vision? Where do you envision yourself being in this area of your life a year down the road, five years down the road, 10 years or 20 years down the road? and and fix that firmly in your mind and now look at where you're at today. If where you're at today isn't leading you towards that ultimate a vision of where you want to be in that area of your life, ask yourself if there's a way that you can fix things or change things or tweak things so that it will lead you towards that path and lead you towards that goal. Or if it's not, then facing your fears, your doubts and insecurities, choosing a different path that will lead towards what your ultimate joy and fulfillment wants you to be at, that ultimate vision that you have. So that is your overall advice for the month of February 2019, Pisces. So that pretty much wraps up your reading for February. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it and found it uh, useful in some way. Again, if any of you are interested in a more personal one-on-one -on -one reading with me, please feel free to email me directly at maggie, the number one mcguire at gmail.com. I would be delighted to work with you and set up a reading as, as soon as we can. I do a wide variety of readings, of course, love and romance, uh, career work and finance, compatibility reading, uh, I also do six and 12 month overviews, which take a look at what's coming in your life over the next six or 12 months, depending on how far ahead you want to look in all the main areas of your life. And you can order those any time of the year, but they seem to be particularly popular around the end of one year and beginning of another. So something for you to consider. And you can also find me on the smartphone app instant, go under Irish Gypsy, and that link is also included as well. Uh, you can click on the description bar of any of my videos for that info. You can also go to my YouTube channel's homepage and click on the little about button there. So Pisces, I will see you all again in a couple of weeks for the February 2019 mid-month readings. And until then, as always, I wish you joy, peace, blessings, and a happy life. Take care and I hope to see you back here again soon. Bye-bye.